For most of this generation's youth, the word survivor is linked to thoughts of exotic locations and game show challenges. For 30 Westmount students, the term was put back into context as they receive simulation training in emergency preparedness. Emergency Management Ontario uh, contacted us a while ago and asked us if we would uh, be interested in having a survivor night here at the school in order to teach the kids um, about survival, especially in, in the face of uh, different crises. We don't know that we have an emergency preparedness scenario for our school. What can we do in our schools to help our community and or help ourselves? I think uh, the students here certainly got a flavor for the fact that they could actually do something in a crisis. When we turned the lights out, I think they started to get a feeling that if it were dark, which in most emergencies it's going to be, um, that they better be prepared. I just put them in because I don't think that's just what it... No, I don't think that's the way it works. We need bigger ones. I know. Tonight they knew where things were. They were right next to their cot, they were uh, in their bag, and so they were able to reach for that flashlight, they were able to reach for whatever food they brought and some of the rations that were brought. But in a real life emergency, I think they got the flavor that I better be prepared, I better help my family be prepared, because if we're not, and it's dark, and you start reaching for things and you don't know where they are, uh, you could be in trouble. Phil Legere knows firsthand what crisis management involves. During the 9-11 attacks, it was his school in Nova Scotia that became a refuge for hundreds of stranded airline passengers. My experience during 9-11 was that these students were able to, uh, you know, to rise to the occasion in, in time of crisis. So I'm very confident that if something happened in the city of Hamilton, and especially after having this training, I'm confident that these kids would rise to the occasion. In fact, I'm, I'm certain of it. The students are also confident that they are now better prepared for a crisis. Food, water, just stuff like that that's important. Blankets, everything that's key for survival. You don't need, you know, luxuries. You just, you need what the bare necessities to rough it out for three days. To have that kind of ability just to, in a crisis situation, just to remain calm and maintain uh, order. To be able to see these survival kits and to actually have them in our possession now is like a reality that maybe we should have had one of those in our house all, all along. It gives us the opportunity now that we've learned this stuff, we know, uh, we know how to step up in a, any situation where we can, you know, kind of give our knowledge to other people and make sure everything goes, you know, as smooth as possible.